Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. I'm a display reviewer and professional calibrator. And this projector beside me is the Sony VPL VW570 ES, which retails for £8,000 in the UK. In the USA, this projector is also known as the VPL VW695 ES. Many features on the Sony VW570 are identical to the entry-level VW270 I reviewed recently, including XRD panel technology with a native 4K resolution of 4096x2160 pixels, the Japanese brand's reality creation video processing engine, triluminous colors, HDR10 and HLG support, active shutter 3D, and two full bandwidth 18 gigabits per second HDMI 2.0 inputs. Instead of covering old ground, I'm going to use this video to highlight the key upgrades of the VW570ES over the VW270ES so you can make a decision for yourself whether it's worth spending £3,000 more on the step-up model. But before that, I'd like to thank UK AV retailer Richard Sounds for sponsoring this video. If you are thinking about buying a new projector, even if it's not the Sony 570, please support this YouTube channel by considering buying from them. They may even have a unit in their demo room for you to audition. Call 0333 0086, mention HTTP test, and the team at Richer Sounds will look after you. Many thanks for your support. Okay, upgrade number one on the Sony VPL VW 570ES is the inclusion of a dynamic iris, which has been omitted from the step down VW 270ES. This has two advantages. One, you can clamp down the iris manually to lower the black floor if you don't require such a high light output, for example, when projecting SDR content on a smaller screen in a light-controlled room. 2. Engaging dynamic iris allows the Sony VW570 to achieve deeper blacks, especially on full-field black screens. Here, I am running the VW570 and the VW270 side by side, both calibrated and half the lens on each projector is covered so we can compare the differences in this scene from the 4K Blu-ray of Mad Max Fury Road. Hopefully, in spite of YouTube's compression and the necessary increase in camera ISO noise to capture dark detail, you can still appreciate the darker fade to black on the VW570 with the help of dynamic iris, and the transition looked smooth without significant light pumping artifacts. Upgrade number two on the Sony VPL VW570 is its higher lumens output. It's rated at 1,800 lumens, whereas the step down VW270 is rated at 1,500 lumens. This confers several benefits. There's more light reserved to illuminate a larger screen if needed, and bright HDR scenes will look more impactful and realistic than the VW270. As you can see from the split screen comparison from Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Upgrade number three concerns motion flow. On the Sony VW570 ES, there exist two extra motion flow options, namely impulse and combination, which use dark frame insertion to boost motion resolution even further, up to 750 lines according to this horizontally scrolling test pattern. And the good thing is that there's barely any flicker. The final advantage of the Sony 570 over the 270 is the provision of lens memory function, allowing you to store up to five separate lens zoom and shift settings, so you can, for instance, switch between 69 and cinema scope aspect ratios easily with one click on the remote control. Before I end this video, I want to share some quick findings which are similar to the VW270 I tested before. Our Sony VW570 review sample can be calibrated to deliver highly accurate colors, as you can see from this challenging color checker SG chart where none of the 140 color patches measured exhibited delta error exceeding 3, the humanly perceptible threshold. Translated to real-life content, this means colors including flesh tones will look supremely natural and realistic. Like all Sony projectors in recent years, Noise reduction is always on unless you enable input lag reduction to switch off all background processing. The processing is very light and some viewers may prefer the cleaner look. But as a purist, I wish Sony would offer a working off switch to preserve film grain integrity and director's intent without having to resort to the input lag reduction setting. Talking of which, 
Engaging that control lowered input lag to around 36 milliseconds in 1080p SDR mode and 32 milliseconds in 4K HDR mode based on measuring the middle square of the Leo Botna tester. And just like on the VW270ES, we spotted posterization in the sky in 4K HDR games from the Xbox One X console. You can use smooth gradation to reduce the effect, but it's still more than what we'd like to see, especially considering that the HDMI inputs are now meant to be full bandwidth 18 gigabits per second. To sum up, the VPL VW570ES is yet another fantastic native 4K projector from Sony that delivers an immersive cinematic experience, and so it receives our highly recommended award. We think it's worth the £3,000 price premium over the entry-level VW270, owing to the presence of dynamic iris which can lower the black floor on full-screen black, as well as brighter lumens output that make HDR look more impactful. However, at the £8,000 price point, the Sony VW570 faces stiff competition from JVC's first true 4K projectors such as the N7, which on paper has higher native contrast and automatic HDR tone mapping. We hear that shipments of the new JVCs have been delayed though, so it'll be a while before we can get our hands on a review sample. Until then, the Sony 570 is our native 4K projector of choice in the sub £10,000 category. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HTTP Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.